Hello, this is Andrew Ford, and I have a quick tutorial to show you the double exposure technique. This effect superimposes two exposures to create a single image. So you see here I have a clip of a nurse on a white background that I gave some movement to. This image is from Envato Elements. I placed it on track two. I'm going to go into the Lumetri color panel and adjust the curves. I want to crush the whites and blacks. Depending on the image you're using, it may look less than ideal. But remember, more contrast is better, and it's okay if it looks a little weird because you'll be adding a blending mode to this layer so that the bottom layer peeks through. In fact, sometimes you may even want to pull the saturation from the top layer clip, depending on the look you're going for. So now that I've done that, I'll take my second clip and place it below on track one. Then I'm going to set my top layer, track two, to the screen blending mode. Now we'll see some of the bottom clip appearing. But we have a problem here. Some of the bottom clip is appearing outside of the nurse and on that white background. We don't want that, so we'll select our second layer and we'll fix that by crushing the whites a little more. There, now it's gone. So now we can turn our attention to the bottom layer on track one and adjust the position and scale as needed. Let's play the timeline and see what we have. I like the way this looks over her scrubs, but I really don't like the image over her face and hair as it competes too much. But that's an easy fix. In this case, we can just mask the bottom layer to avoid her face. Then we'll feather the mask. Play that back and now we have a pretty nice look. Remember, there are many applications for this technique, so have fun being creative. Thank you.